Hello everyone. I hope you're doing okay. Thank you for attending this class. We're going to talk about medicine or the medical field. What do you see in this picture? I see a doctor. Wait, I see two doctors. Looks like they are in the operating room. Someone is having surgery. They are dressed in blue. And in the other picture, there is a stethoscope. You use it to listen to the patient's heart. Looks like a doctor is talking to a colleague. A colleague is the same name as a co-worker, someone who works in the same place as you. The next picture on the bottom left is a doctor. In the last picture on the bottom right shows a doctor talking to a patient. This doctor is treating a child. The mother of the child is with him. Most likely this doctor is a pediatrician. A pediatrician is a doctor who specializes in working with children. Physicians by some of the name of their specialty. In general medicine, it's called doctor or a physician. It's also called family doctor. Same or similar to a practitioner. In mental illness, we have a psychologist, a psychiatrist, a therapist, and a psychoanalysis or a psychoanalyst. In heart disease, we have a cardiologist, heart specialist, in skin treatment, we call it dermatology. Let's go over this list again. It helps me to also improve my pronunciation as well, as English is also my second language. But remember, when you hear others speak English, you are not always going to talk to an American or to someone from Great Britain, you will hear different accents. So it is good that you hear my accent as well. I also, I also need to improve my English. So we're gonna do it together. Let's go over this list again. In general medicine, a doctor is also called a physician, a family doctor, or a practitioner. In mental illness, we have psychologists, psychiatrists, therapists, and psychoanalysts. In heart disease, we call it a cardiologist or heart specialist. For skin treatment, we call that doctor a dermatologist. Here are some pictures. Let's make up some of these positions. Title or the type of work they do in this medical office. It could be a hospital, it could be a clinic. I don't know. But in the first picture, it looks like this guy could be an assistant. The second one could be a receptionist. Well, the third one is holding papers, so it's possible she could work in the medical records. This young man looks like he could be tech support. Most likely, in every hospital, in, in every medical clinic, they do have these positions to be filled by people who is looking for work. Let's go over some words from the medical field. When you are sick, you normally go to the hospital or a walk-in clinic an emergency room. Sometimes you are taken by an ambulance. When you go to the clinic, you have to go to registration. 
and filled out some paperwork like your name, your birthday. What is it that you are there for? What's bothering you? The walk-in clinic in the U.S. It's it's like a doctor office, but you don't have to make an appointment in advance. You can just walk in. So they call it a walk-in clinic. Some of the treatments that they might give you could be uh, medicine from their own office, or sometimes they give you a prescription to go to the pharmacy and get the medicine. Sometimes it's it goes as far as having surgery, general treatment. Sometimes you just need a vaccine or physical therapy. Some of the most men common in diseases that are mentioned are cancer, lupus, heart disease, mental disorders, autism, and multiple sclerosis. Related terms to some of this medical field could be a transplant, blood type, x-ray, diagnosis. Every doctor needs a medical license in order to practice medicine. And some doctors do have a specialty. Some of those specialties could be uh, a neurologist, a chiropractor, a dentist, a gynecologist, an optometrist, an ophthalmologist, or a cardiologist. Let's read these sentences together. Medical field. I need to go to the hospital. I am in a lot of pain. I am not feeling well. I feel sick. I need medical attention. I don't feel good. I feel like I'm dying. It hurts. More medical phrases. I need to make a doctor's appointment. My doctor said I need surgery. Oh, I have a toothache. A toothache is when you have a cavity in your mouth, in your teeth. So that's a toothache when it's hurting you. I broke my foot. I sprained my I sprained my ankle. Ouch. Somebody help me. Please. Let's go over these sentences again. I need to go to the hospital. I am in a lot of pain. I am not feeling well. I feel sick. I need medical attention. I don't feel good. I feel like I'm dying. It hurts. Let's go over more phrases. I need to make a doctor's appointment. My doctor said I need surgery. I have a toothache. I broke my foot. I sprained my ankle. Ouch. Somebody help me. Let's go over some additional content. There are some emotional illness and some some of the feelings people feel when they have an illness, an emotional illness could be anxiety, depression, uncontrolled crying, panic attack. There are some unexpected, unexpected events as well, like um, accidents. You could have a car accident and have injuries from that car accident. Let's hope that Something like that never happened to us. Things that we can do to feel better are exercise. Every doctor is going to tell you that. Drink lots of water. Try to eat well. Try not to worry or stress out. Something that I forgot to mention on this list is sleep. Get a full night of sleep. The summary of this lesson is that studying another language requires a lot of practice. My suggestions is don't miss the weekly lessons, watch television in English, listen to music in English, and practice, practice, practice.
practice. Thank you for attending this class. This is my first lesson, and I hope that your English gets better and my English also gets better by teaching you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my videos. Please study constantly and please practice your English. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.